Welcome back to another Motivation Monday. So it is Labor Day when I am uploading this. I hope you are having the best holiday, spending time with family, spending some time outside, whatever it is that you feel like doing today. I hope you're having a great day. So we are just kind of spending some time at home, me and my kids cleaned up the house this morning and just kind of tidied it after a crazy weekend. And so now we are eager to relax and hopefully spend some time outside. We live in Southern Missouri and it is a perfect crisp 70 degrees today and it is just so beautiful outside. But so in this Motivation Monday this week, I decided to, you know, obviously vacuum the floors, kind of focus on the floors a little bit, but I also wanted to tackle the kids' rooms. So I got to both of the girls' rooms, but I did not get to Liam's room. But sometimes um, their rooms just need like a mother's touch. And so that is what I was wanting to do this week. They always clean their rooms like as far as pickup and things. And um, I always make them help me clean up stuff. But sometimes they just don't quite do it like mom does. Everything's about to come my way And I don't care if you spill coffee on me Or if the sky is gray or blue No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Standing on my feet I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop It is my time so in this house, we have hard water from the well. And so my dishwasher tends to get clogged up and it gets nasty a lot quicker than like any other house that I've lived in. So I'm just going to go ahead and unload the dishwasher and then I'm going to give it a deep clean. And when I do this, I take out all the components. So I take out the filter and the thing that goes in the bottom. And then I'll also take out the utensil holder because that tends to hold moisture and mold and I try to I really try to stay on top of it because you know obviously we're washing our uh, dishes in this and that's kind of gross if you think about it but I just use some Dawn power wash and I just kind of let it sit for a second and I spray it all around the dishwasher and then I'll go in with a scrub brush and just kind of scrub everything and then my dishwasher has a one hour cycle um, and it's always with really hot water so I will run that and I also put a cup little cup of bleach in it it's probably like two tablespoons of bleach not very much at all, but it definitely does the trick. And I love doing this because then it makes my dishwasher smell so good. Let me know down below what is your least favorite chore when you're doing housework. Mine is definitely um, sweeping and mopping the floors, but I also hate doing the dishes. Like I just don't like getting my hands in there and getting dirty. My husband absolutely hates dirty dishes, so he doesn't really help me with that. But yeah, dishes are not one of my favorite things. But I'm moving on to Riley's room, so I'm just um, stripping down her bedding and giving that a good wash. And I'm also going to go ahead and wash her clothes. She doesn't have very many clothes. So I stay on top of her clothes probably like once every couple of weeks or so because she has enough outfits that, you know, she can wear clothes for a couple of weeks before I need to do her laundry. But I'm kind of just doing the same thing as I did with the dishwasher. I am putting clothes in and then I'm going to uh, wash it with, of course, our detergent. And I also wash, wash it with a little bit of bleach because, you know, bleach just makes everything smell better and um, disinfects and... She goes to bed with milk and so sometimes her bed smells like soured milk and it was definitely time to wash her bedding. Moving on to Bristol's room, this is obviously a different day. I don't do all of this stuff in one day. I just don't, it's not realistic and I'm all about being realistic around here. So I am just tidying up her room and then Riley is also in her room helping me 
clean up toys and this is the same day we're just kind of tidying this day but then this next day is obviously a different day i am going into riley's room and deep cleaning so i'm just taking everything out of her room that's kind of like on the floor most of her toys are bigger and so we kind of just stack them up along the wall and so i'm just going to move those out to the hallway and i am going to go ahead and stack up her books and then i will use just a multi-surface cleaner and just kind of wipe everything down so i'm going to wipe off her bookshelf her dresser um, her window seal and then her other dresser so riley just turned two she's still sleeping in her pack and play and actually fun fact when we had her we didn't want to get a crib because we knew that you know they're really not worth it honestly i mean it's just some place for kids to sleep and we make her bed to where it's comfortable for her so not really worried about that but um so we just kind of settled on a pack and play and we already have a full-size bed out in our little storage room that we plan on putting in here whenever she gets older but like i said she's only two so she is not ready for a big girl bed yet I kind of have a little bit of mom guilt about her room and like her situation just because you know she's third kid so by the time you get to the third kid you kind of know like what you need and what's realistic and what's not and so that's kind of what we did with her so we just use like things that we already had around the house as far as a dresser and you know she's not quite got a proper toy box yet but when she gets a little bit older and when she gets into her new bed we are going to do a full makeover in here um, but she's just not ready for that yet. So we're just kind of making it work and, you know, it doesn't bother her. It doesn't really bother us. We just kind of make it work. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lindsay, obviously. We live in Southern Missouri. I have three kids. Um, I'm married to my high school sweetheart. We've been together for 15 years and I'm 30 years old. My husband is 31. So we've basically been together for half of our lives, which is kind of crazy to think about, but you know, it's, it's definitely rare these days that our situation is the way that it is. But um, I also work from home. I am in the medical industry. I do like, insurance denials and i fight the denials basically <laughs> um but i love what i do and working from home has been a huge blessing for me i worked in a very toxic job um before this for six years and my mental health was just like in the tank for a long time when i was working at that job it was just very mentally taxing on me and it was kind of bleeding over into you know my marriage and um my parenting and just everything it's crazy to think about whenever you have a job that you're unhappy with how much it spills over into other parts of your life and so i finally you know realized all of that and i just kind of took a step back and was like wow why am i so unhappy and then everything kind of just went back to my job where i spent you know four or five days a week eight hours a day at this particular place and so that is whenever i decided to step back and do something different and Working from home has been one of the biggest blessings in my life, not only for my mental health, but also for my marriage, my kids, my everything. So highly recommend if you are unhappy at your job, I know how much it takes to get out of that situation, but highly recommend taking the steps to do that. But anyway, that is what Riley's room looks like when it was all together. I just moved around some furniture and yeah, I think it looks great. So hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some motivation to get things done on your to-do list. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.